Okay, he's going live now. He's waiting on a notification. Okay, boom. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this evening. We have an incredible guest with us tonight, one who's going to give us some amazing information as well as inspiration, and that is none other than the amazing puppeteer known as Landon. First of all, how are you doing, sir? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. Uh, the first the first question, first of all, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come on the People's Podcast. Uh, the first question that, that we have for you is, how did you get into this field? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I was an introvert as a kid. I saw a ventriloquist come perform at my school when I was six years old, and I was captivated by the magic and the puppets, and uh, I got a puppet later after I saw him perform, and it's just uh, been that ever since. Okay, great. And are there any um, influences that uh, were on TV that you watched that inspired you? Yeah, you know, I so I saw the ventriloquist that performed at my school, and so immediately after that, I started looking at other ventriloquists. Of course, Jeff Dunham, Terry Fader, uh, later on, David Strassman, uh, Sammy King, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. Kevin Johnson, Todd Oliver. Okay, great. Now, is this something for people who are at home who want to um, do this? Is this something that, that can be learned? Like, like how, how, how do you, or you have to go to school for? Like, what, what's the process? Yeah, it's very interesting. I get a lot of questions saying, did you go to school for this? I, I didn't. I have no formal ventriloquial education. I just, I've watched probably every ventriloquist there is that's out there on YouTube or online or DVDs. And I studied them and what they do. And, and ventriloquism is so difficult because it's not just puppetry. It's puppetry. It's it's the actual act of talking without moving your lips. It's creating character. It's it's If you're a good ventriloquist, you're usually a comedian to some degree. So you have to be funny. And uh, you're creating that scene on stage for the first time every time you perform it. So there's a lot that goes into it. And I would say that uh, repetition, studying past ventriloquists is important. And then just getting on stage and figuring out how what you're going to perform and how you're going to do it is the best advice I can give. Wonderful. OK, great. And thank everyone who's continued to like, share, subscribe to the People's Podcast. How can we su uh, support you and view your uh, view? You? Are you online? Do you have your own website, Instagram? Where do we go? Yeah, you know, um, you can find me everywhere online at Landon Venting. Oh, okay, great. Wonderful. And um, man, we're just inspired that you would uh, take time to come and tell us about uh, your journey in this. Now, how do you develop your characters? It's, it's such a difficult question to answer because each character comes from a different inspiration. Um, sometimes I found voices that I could do that I then will create a character around that voice that fits it. Sometimes I'll think of an idea for a puppet and then I'll just build the puppet and then I'll create the voice and the character later on, the personality later on after I've built the puppet. Um, sometimes I'm inspired by people I know, uh, my grandparents or relatives or, you know, people I see on the street even. And I'll sketch, I'll take out my notebook and I'll make little sketches and I'll save it for later for characters. So I allow inspiration to flow just as I live life. And I kind of take it from everywhere. That's amazing. Okay, wonderful. One more yeah. question before we get to uh, meet, meet you know, uh, your, your creations. Uh, what advice would you give to people on yeah. the importance of imagination? Oh my gosh. Um, you know what? There's so many ways you can go with this. I think it's important to know that uh, as you grow, your imagination grows. And um, in what I do, I'm a ventriloquist and I'm a, I am create so many jokes and pieces of content and then puppets that I just have learned to just put everything out there. And if it hits, it hits. And the problem with imagination in today's society is usually it's used to some degree, whether you're a YouTuber or you're on TikTok or whatever. So you're, you know, you become where your imagination is something so personal to you and then you share it on a on a grander scale. And my biggest advice to, to those of you that are wanting to do this to, to some degree, however you can apply it to what you're doing, is um, understand that you're gonna grow through it all and that not everything you make will be perfect. And that as long as you are growing and learning throughout the process, let your imagination flow and run with it. Perfect, wonderful. Okay, great. Thank, thank you very you much. And thank everyone who continues to show love. I can't wait to put this on YouTube. Can we, uh, can we meet the people? Can we meet uh, you know your people? 
the characters. Yeah, so I, I've got my my main guy, Jackie. He has um, been on my show for a couple of years now. Uh, this is a puppet I created through TikTok. I introduced him to my audience on there and he's kind of evolved from there. He's kind of like a kid and then he's annoying and he asks a billion questions. So I thought it'd be fun to bring him on here. Come here, Jackie. What? Come here. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Okay, sit back. Sorry. All right. Where are we? We're on the on this podcast. Okay, that's Joshua. You know him? No, I know him because it's his name's in the corner. Well, yes. I love this. This is great. Yes. Yes. This is exciting. Yes. Are we the first ventriloquist we you've had on here? Absolutely sure. you are. Okay. Oh, good. And you're not going to have one on after this, huh? Well, you don't know that. <laughs> we'll see. Right. Yes. Great. Okay. Uh -huh. now, what do you do for fun? Oh, I like to learn stuff. No, I like to set it on fire. That's not. No, I, I, come on. What do you do in your pastime? Uh, graffiti? No, like <laughs> stuff that's legal. Uh, legal graffiti. Yeah, okay. I'm a business. Really? No. Okay. Um, you you enjoy a lot of stuff. I like to run around with Bill. Bill's the zombie. Uh huh. He's another character that I have. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, we do TikTok lives. We do a lot of live streams. Yeah, for hours on end. Right. Yes. And uh, we run around all over Texas. Uh huh. Because that's where we're based, and we film videos. Yes. All over. Sometimes they're interactive. Right. You're in your face. Right. Or sometimes it's with other people. Sure. And uh, sometimes it's just you and me. You, you and I. Right. Yes. And uh. Yeah, so land is never actually other truly alone. That's correct. Right. <laughs> well, right. well, what can people will we ever get to meet you in person? Oh, that's a good. You know, we do private shows and sometimes public shows all around Dallas. Sometimes we're at a comedy club. Sometimes we do like a quinceanera or some one-year-old's birthday party. Right. Sometimes they end up the same way. Right. And. People are crying, but we lose the money quickly. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. So, uh, you, you know, we, we have shows all over. Yeah. And uh, you can find info about that on LandonHarvey.com. Yes. And, uh, you know, that's that's what we do. And when we're not doing shows, we're making online content and interacting with our, our virtual audience. Right. It's great. Wonderful. Now, now do you uh, now we, we see that you uh, um, are in Texas. Do you like sports down there or do you do TV? Like, what, like what's the fun in Texas? Oh, sure. Yeah, we love uh, football. Obviously, the Dallas Cowboys, right? Yes, we have their practice stadium in Frisco, right? Which I don't think it's used often because it's the Cowboys. All right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it's got a movie theater in there, so they probably use that a lot. Right, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we have fun. We like, uh, like our sports and our country music, right? And uh, we got Houston, so that's something. And I uh, got the Astros. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, man. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the People's Podcast. Uh, it was amazing uh, to meet you. Now I look forward to meeting your friend. Oh, thanks. This was great. I'm pumped. Yeah. Can't wait to see myself on YouTube. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. Well, it was nice to meet you, sir. All right. Take care. Do you I too. go now? Yeah. Um, awkwardly exit. Escalator. All right, great. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Ow. So that's an exit. Okay, the exit. And uh, he's a he's a handful. Okay. Okay. Now, now, what about your other friend? Okay. So this is a character I'm working on. I I introduced the puppet uh, when I began TikTok, probably a couple months in, but okay. I've since rebuilt the puppet, and she is still uh, well underway. Um, in terms of her her character, but I thought I'd bring her out here because it's something fun and and uh, and different. So this is this is Patty. She's uh, she frequents the local retirement home here in Texas. Shady okay. folks. Uh, we've got a lot of sketchy people there. So she's one of them. Let me get her out. Uh, Miss Miss Patty. Hi, hon. Come here. My gosh, I I almost oh hello. Odd and distinguished young gentleman. Is he gonna give me my sponge bath? No, he's he's here to <laughs> interview you. Oh. All right. Well, that's a, that's fun. Yeah. Have a, have a seat. I've got one leg. I okay. It's right here. She's got she's got one leg and a. I'll let him touch my patch if he's lucky. Your eye patch. Yes. Okay. Sit sit back. Okay. okay. Like, and, and I want to read to you, uh, Miss Patty, some of the comments people are saying this is amazing. Peace is saying, oh, uh, this is awesome. Okay. Well, what, okay. what what is it? 
what is it like to uh, be at the retirement home? Oh, it's great. You know, I am um, one of the livelier people there. Right? Yes. And uh, we do bingo. We fight all the putting cups. And uh, I think like the grandkids that we have the grandkids event but every Tuesday. That, that's great. Yeah. And I make them go and fetch me food. Oh, yeah. It's great. Okay. I enjoy it. It keeps some trim. Some of them are porkers. They get fat. <laughs> Right. It's all the third stuff nowadays. We didn't have that when I was growing. No, no. You couldn't plug it in. No, no. <laughs> well, what do you do for fun? What? What do you do for fun? Oh, yeah. You, you know, I do a lot of things for fun. Um, I forgot the last man's name. Why, why don't you talk about stuff like uh, bingo? <laughs> what? Bingo. I love bingo. Yes. I like, I like, uh, I like it when they color my squares, right? And uh, I flirt with the bingo guy. Sometimes okay. he lets me win. That's great. What, what do you want if you get, if you, you get, you win bingo? I get a rice pudding cup. That's great. Yeah. So he let me have a pudding cup and I let him in line. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So that's um, got a lot of gray hairs. Yeah, I got something like pink cup too. All right, well that's um, that's great. She's one of the raunchier characters. I know <laughs> a lot more when you're older, Joshua. <laughs> His last name is Muhammad. Yeah, that's not sus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get checked at the airports, fella? <laughs> hey, you can't ask that. Yeah, I'm making converse. I'm a friendly person. I'm sure you are. People love me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm pretty good when I go to the Where airport. Where do you live, Muhammad? His name is Joshua. Yeah. It, 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 that's his last name. Joshua, where are you from? I'm, I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. And I used to date a man in Atlanta. Okay. And how was that? It was great. Looking forward to it again, Joshua. All right, very funny. <laughs> you like putting cups? Okay. Right. Have you had your pills yet? Not yet. No, no. Sometimes I suck on them. Okay, I'm gonna set you down here. Okay. I haven't gotten my nap yet. You wanna join me? All right. <laughs> Have a seat. I don't. Oh. Uh, so that's Patty. She's uh, more the ra a raunch, probably the raunchiest character that I have. But uh, I really wanted an old lady that was out there, and I have this old man puppet, and she kind of started within a joke. Uh, he he looked at me and, and said, uh, "You know the lady at the senior home with the eye patch and the one leg. Sometimes they call her Pirate Patty." Mm -hmm. And I thought, how funny would, would it be to take that joke and create a puppet around it? And then I did, and I've introduced her to my TikTok, and people have seen her kind of evolve through it. So we've had a lot of fun, and we always enjoy the live streams because it's a great time to. It's the only time I really practice. Um, actually, but we just do like improv for like an hour with the puppets and we interact with the comments and stuff. And um, sometimes I'll get like a joke out of it that's, oh, that's actually really good. And it, it reflects the character and I'll end up writing it down and using it in an actual show. So it's great. That's amazing. Where can we, what is, what's the TikTok so we can follow you on TikTok? So, okay, so my TikTok is Landon Venting. It's V-E-N-T-I-N-G because I'm a ventriloquist and you abbreviate it, it's vent, but then in comedy, you vent. You tell people your problems. So that's a kind of a little play on words there. It's Landon Venting and uh, it's that's my username for all the social media. So if you find me there, you can find me everywhere else. We've got over a million on TikTok and we're still growing. And, um, you know, uh, once we hit 1.5 million, I release another character because I build these guys in my garage and these gals. So uh, we always have fun kind of coming up with new personas and it's always neat to introduce a new one to the audience. I'm telling you, this is amazing. My, on behalf of myself, my family, and the viewing audience of the People's Podcast. Uh, thank you, man. This is so cool that you're creative and you're you're spreading oh, joy awesome. and positivity across the uh, man social media. Man, that's amazing. I, you know, I I really love it. COVID's been a, a weird time for all of us, but it's really uh, made me double down on all my online content and write a lot more. And it's it's strengthened a lot of different performing aspects. Um, that are necessary to stage performance that I haven't been able to do because of the pandemic and the lockdown and everything. So it's been a real treat to be able to bring laughter and smiles to people uh, through this time. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the People's Podcast. Thank everybody who's watching. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. Your, your characters are phenomenal. 
Uh, oh, man, thanks. that the fact that you're witty like that off the top of your head, that's that's just that's very cool. Um, well, I look forward to uh, staying connected with you and following you on social media so that we can uh, continue to support. Um, man, Mr. Landon, the ventriloquist, uh, phenomenal job. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Have a great day. All right, thanks. Bye, guys. Bye.